What is up team? Welcome back to work and welcome back to day 15 of the Dense program. We have our six minute bent over row density test today. And then we're gonna jump into a lower body workout. Let's hop into a warm up. That'll take us through our first circuit here. We're going 10 body weight squats. Get those legs loosened up a little bit. Nice and slow down, driving those knees over the toes. Squeeze the quads at the top. 10 reps, try to get as low as you can. You wanna get those hips and knees at least to about parallel or a little bit below. From there, we're going into a forward lunge. Three reps each side. Let that knee track forward over the toe, load all the weight on the front leg. Three each side on the lunge. Hey Ava, welcome, we're in the warm up. From there we're going sumo stance, floor touches. Pushing those hips back, low back stays flat, try to touch the floor. Get a nice stretch in those hamstrings and glutes. On the side. Ten reps. Then we're gonna post up against the wall. We're gonna do some sideways leg swings. So you can hands on a wall and let that foot rotate in front from side to side like so. If you have space, we're gonna go ten reps on the right and then ten on the left. You can do it on your bench. Then we're going 10 on the left. Then we're going uh, five push-ups into a pike. Get those shoulders and chest loosened up a little bit for the rows. Ooh, triceps are sore. Stepping in, then we're going 10 big arm circles forward, 10 in reverse, 10 crosses, and we will jump into it. All right, team, so we have our six minute density set of bent over dumbbell rows. So I'll walk you through technique first. You guys should have done this last week if you uh, jumped into the program. You're bending over at the hips, low back stays nice and flat, pulling those dumbbells back towards your hips, squeezing those shoulder blades back and together, letting the arms fully extend at the bottom. We're gonna go six minutes as many reps as you can accumulate in six minutes. You want to pick a weight that you can do 10 to 15 reps for to start, and then try to keep those reps up, taking short breaks of 20 to 25 seconds in between each set. We did five minutes the last two weeks. This week, we're going to do six minutes. Again, don't push to failure and toward ne towards near the end of the set. You should have these numbers tracked in your train heroic or written down somewhere. If you've been getting a lot of reps at five minutes, like 70 plus, try to increase the weight a little bit for this six minute set. I'm gonna jump into, what did I do last time? Yeah, I'm gonna stay with my 40s. Any questions guys, six minutes on the clock, keep track of how many reps you did. We have one more week of this program, so we're gonna try to beat this number for the six minutes next week. We good? Let's do it. 10 second countdown like always team. Let's jump into it. As many bent over rows as you can. Three, two, one, and work. Squeeze those shoulder blades back in together. Let's 
Don't go close to failure yet, so set them down. Rest for 20. Get right back into it. Quality rest, team. Under five minutes, first minute down. If you start to drop below five reps, increase the rest break. Pulling those hands back towards your hips. If the low back starts to give out before anything else, you can always prop your butt against the wall. Give you a little bit of support. Four minutes. Take those rests, team. Woo! Upper back is already feeling toasty. My reps are starting to drop. I'm increasing the rest a little bit. It's tempting to keep going. That little extra rest will really help. I'll give myself like 35 seconds. If you find yourself using too much momentum, take a rest too. Two more really good sets. It felt so close. It felt before. I know that I always hurt your feelings. Yeah, I know that you'll never be forgiven me. Give myself another ten seconds. Nice deep breath. Give those muscles some oxygen. You should be really feeling it across your upper back. And down your lats. Come on. A minute forty, team. Probably a couple more good sets for you guys left in there. Two more maybe. Take that rest. If you're able to keep going and going and going, your weight's probably too light. I'm gonna go at the minute 15 mark and try to get two small sets in. A minute 20, team. So final push. Now you can start pushing it close to failure. Come on. I'm not even setting them down. Maybe one more rest. Forty seconds, team. I'm 
giving it a go in the last 30. Come on. Empty the tank here. Good reps. Control that tempo. Focus on the muscle you're trying to work. Stand up, rest if you need to. 12 seconds. Five, two, one. And rest, team. Woo! Keep track of your score, write it down on a piece of paper in your app. We're gonna repeat this again next week for the final density set of the uh, program next week. We're sticking with six minutes. All right, team. On to the lower body workout now. We got a little different format here than last set. So we're going 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. If you have a bench or something to put your foot up on, you're gonna need it. We're gonna start off front, uh, front rack. So we're back up in this front rack position. A Bulgarian. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't need a bench. Actually you do, but not on this first thing. So front rack split squats, guys. So you're gonna need a bench, Steve, sorry, because we're gonna do step ups too. So dumbbells on the front rack, right foot forward, up on your back toe, going down, let that knee tap, and then drive back up. Nice and slow down, let that back knee touch, drive back up. Dumbbells can be here or here. If you have one heavy dumbbell, you can hold it both, uh, goblet style if you need to, that's more comfortable. So we're going right leg, 40 seconds, then 20 seconds of rest, left leg. Then we need the bench if you have one. We're gonna do step ups on the right leg. So dumbbells are at your side, plant the right foot. We're going 40 seconds all on the right leg. Shift your weight forward, push through that leg on the bench. Try not to jump off of this back leg. So you're here, shift weight, press. Nice and slow back down, reset. If you don't have a bench to do a step up on, you can do a reverse lunge instead. So it's a, we're doing split squats, and then if you don't have a bench, we're gonna do reverse lunges. Actually, let's do forward lunges instead. So if you don't have a bench, you can do a forward lunge instead of a step up, because I think the split squat is a great complement to that. Any questions, team? 40 seconds each movement. We got split squat right, split squat left, step up right, step up left. 40 seconds of work between each round, a rest between each round. And we're going three rounds through it. 40 seconds of rest, team. This front rack position is a little bit harder, so you may not be able to go as heavy as you normally would. I'm gonna start with 30s and see how it goes for both movements. Twenty seconds, guys. Get set up. You want to make sure that end of that dumbbell is resting on your shoulder, so you're not just holding them up with your arms. Upper back, nice and tall. This is a lot more challenging on the core and low back. Five seconds, guys. Split squats, right leg. In three, two, one. Let's work. Up on that back toe. Nice and slow down. Started out being innocent. Big words promised everything. But all along we know this was bad. This was bad. Oh. Gotta end, gotta make it stop. We can't pretend that this is love. But then we touch and it all gets lost. And pink clouds and fairy dust. Keep all that weight forward. Ten seconds. Two, one, and rest for 20. We're on split squats, left leg forward. Five seconds, pick them up. Two, one, let's work. Seconds. 
Seven. Two. One. Rest for 20. Step ups. Or forward lunge. Right leg. Eight seconds, team. Three. One. Just keep holding. Let's work. Let me go. Everything's so magical. All I need is you tonight. If I shut my eyes, keeping them closed, all of the senses explodes. You and me under the sky. Let's stay up all night. Give our hearts a new beginning. When we fell in love, every second, every minute, we were high on life. Didn't waste our time. Didn't sleep as much as now. Come on. Two, one, and rest. 20 seconds, left leg. Woo. Eight seconds. Pick it up. Three, two, one. Let's work. Control that weight back down to the ground. Team. We're back to our front rack split squat. Make sure your weight is all on that front leg. Try to keep your chest fairly vertical. Down, let that knee tap, keep your heel planted. 20 seconds. Woo! Got the heart rate up. Ten seconds, team. Start setting up. Three. Two, one, and work. Keep those elbows tucked in. Let those dumbbells just rest against your body and your shoulder. Foot stays planted in the back, down and up. Come on, 10 seconds, team. Keep that weight forward so you're not working the back leg. Two, one, rest. 20 seconds. Woo! So feel that mostly in the right leg. 90%, a little bit on the back leg. Five seconds. Steph's doing some sweeping in the middle of the workout. Two, one. <laughs> hey, multitasking, guys. <laughs> Take your time. Good quality reps. Ten seconds, come on. Three, two, one. And rest, team, step ups. Woo! Ten seconds. Deep breaths. Walk it off, let those legs recover. Three, one. And work. Right leg. I bring you down, but never try to find a cover. Way to say that I'm better now. You look great, however, this can't wait for the better. Cause now I got a cover. Cause baby 
two, one, and rest. Left leg. Come on, team, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's work. Try not to jump off of that back foot. Five seconds, guys. Come on, hang in with me. How are we feeling? We got one more round through. Go a little heavier if you can. Add some weights if you're not using them, maybe on the step ups or the lunges. You gotta challenge yourself. 15 seconds, guys. We're back to those front rack split squats, right leg. Deep breath in out of the nose. Five seconds, guys. Three, two, one, and work. Breathe every rep. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! 12 seconds, guys, come on. Left leg. Pick them up. Three, two, one. Let's work. Come on. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Rest for 20. Woo! Step up. Right leg.
Breathe, come on team. Don't jump off that back leg. Two, one, and rest team. Woo! Three minutes. All right. This is the final leg circuit. After this, we just have a short core circuit. So don't leave anything in the tank. It's the end of the week. We got a rest day coming tomorrow. We're starting off with VMO squats. We have the exact same format as last round. 40 on, 20 off. We're starting off, so you want a wedge for your feet. If you have some blocks, you can do that. If you have a plate, you can do that. If you have some small dumbbells, you can put your heels up on those. So, the key here is that your feet are close together. Toes pointed forward. Knees are gonna travel forward, and you're gonna try to keep your chest as vertical as you can. If you're pushing your knees as far forward as you can, you're trying to get your hamstrings to touch your calves. So from the side, it looks like this. If you need to hold onto a wall or a bench or a roll, a, uh, a post, you can do that. So you're going down, trying to keep your chest vertical, knees go way over the toes. That's where this, uh, the blocks or something to elevate your feet will help with the ankle mobility. This is really hard to do without any type of help unless you're like incredibly mobile, which I'm not and most of you guys probably aren't. So you're going nice and slow down and drive back up. We're gonna go body weight first. You can go hands behind your back is a little harder, hands in front or out front is the easiest. On the second round, we're gonna have an opportunity to include some weight. So that's our first move. Our second movement is a sumo deadlift. So two dumbbells. Feet are shoulder, a little wider than shoulder width apart. The dumbbells are facing you. You're going knees out, slightly bend the knees. You're gonna push your butt back, keeping the low back flat, nipples facing the floor, and then drive back up. So from the side, it looks like this. Shoulder blades back and together, feet wide, toes pointed out. Push your hips back, get a nice stretch in the hamstrings and glutes, and then squeeze your butt at the top. Don't lean back too much, you just wanna come up to a plank. So you're here, drive back up. Dumbbell, feet should be wide enough so that the dumbbells kinda of just get in between your feet. That's our second movement. Then we go into a front foot elevated lunge. So, reverse lunge. Foot up, you can use a block, you can use a wedge, down. I may actually grab a regular yoga block. You can use a book. Same thing you were using. I'm going with a yoga block this time. Foot's elevated, you're going down, let the knee kiss. If you have a hard time just regularly getting your knee to touch the ground, don't do the block. And we're gonna do regular reverse lunges. We're going right and then left. Any questions, team? For those of you without a bench, this is a lot of lunges. Maybe buy a bench, but if not, that's all right. <laughs> we got split squats, forward lunges, reverse lunges. We good guys, we got VMO squats. Sumo deadlift, front foot elevated reverse lunge right, front foot elevated reverse lunge left. Three seconds on the clock, team. Get your, get your set up for the VMO. Body weight only this round. So feet close. I'm gonna go at an angle so you guys can see. We good? Three. Two. One. And work. Keep that chest vertical. I'm going hands behind the back. Squeeze the quads at the top. Try to get as low as you can. Let those hamstrings touch your calves. And squeeze the quads at the top. Driving the knees straight ahead. You should feel this on that teardrop muscle on the inside of your knee leg. The VMO stands for vastus medialis, which is that muscle right there. Three, two, one, rest. So this muscle coming right on the inside of the knee is the one you should feel. Sumo deadlifts team, I'm gonna go 30s here. This you wanna feel in the hamstrings and the glutes. Squeeze your butt at the top like someone's gonna kick you in the ass. That's the focus I want. Three, two, one, work. Slight bend in the knees, nipples pointed towards the ground. Don't bend your knees too much. We don't wanna turn it into a squat. Once you feel the stretch in the hamstring, 
max out. Drive back up through those heels. Keep pushing your butt back towards the wall. Low back stays flat. Three, two, one. Rest. Front foot elevated, reverse lunge. I'm gonna go 25s here, legs are feeling woo, a little wobbly. With the foot elevated, we're getting more depth. Two, one, and work. You can use a plate here if you don't have a, a, a block. Just to get a little bit extra depth. Drive through that front foot. Nice and slow down. And let the other foot levitate off the ground for maximal contraction on that right leg. You should really feel this in the glutes and hamstrings. This is that pieces builder right here. Five. Two. One. And rest, him. Switching legs, left leg. We're getting that extra range of motion here, so you should get a nice stretch in the hamstring and glute on this. Eight seconds, team. Five, set up. Two, one, and work. Bending the more, stop. So just go bend at the beginning, bend your butt, and drive up. There you go. 10 seconds. Two, one, and rest. Front foot elevated reverse lunge team. Right leg. Seven. 
Pick them up. Get ready to work. Three, two, one. And work nice and low. Try. Team. 20 seconds. Pick up your weight. You did a BMO squat last time with that. I'm going to go with the 15 again. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And it work. Nice and deep. Squeeze those quads hard at the top. Lock out the knees. Up on your blocks, team. <sighs> Try to keep that chest vertical by pushing the knees forward. The more the knees go forward, the more vertical you can stay. And the more strain we put on the quad muscles. Two, one, and rest. Woo! Two more down this, coming up. We're done with those blocks. Five seconds, team, pick them up. Two, one, work. My knees only bend at the beginning. Hips go back, big stretch, drive. in the ante a little bit. Push it with me, team. Three, two, one, and work. Three, one, and rest for 20. 
Last leg. We are done with the leg portion. Little core coming out. Seven seconds, guys. Come on. Three. One. Work. Different format this round, team. 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We got two moves. Our first move is a legs up crunch. So, legs are straight up in the air, head is back on the ground. You're gonna try to flex those abs as hard as you can, come up, touch the shins or toes. If you can't get the legs up straight, you can go here, crunch. Sometimes this actually feels better even if you have the mobility because you're not worried about the legs straightening it out. If you have really tight hamstrings like I do, I'm gonna stay like this the whole time. And you're gonna try to come up and just crunch chin in between your knees or touch the toes if you'd like, whatever way feels better for you. That's 30 seconds. Then from there, we got 10 seconds rest and our final thing is plank side hip taps. So we're gonna set up in a normal plank be about shoulder width apart, you're gonna rotate your hips over and you'll probably end up touching your quad on the side of the mat. So it looks like this, you're just going back and forth. You want here, rotate, touch, touch. Elbows are kind of pointed out and wide for stability. 30 seconds each movement. We're going an extra 30 seconds between rounds. We got a three minute rest, but I messed up my timer. Give me one second here, guys. Catch your breath. I was cutting today's workout short. We got 20 between rounds, three rounds through. Alright team, let's do it. We ready? We're going legs up crunches in five, three, two, one, and work. Legs up, really focus. I'm bringing that head between the knees. Crunching the abs as hard as you can. Three, two, one. Let the head all the way back. 
and then crunch up as hard as you can. Twenty seconds. Woo. books. Thank you guys for joining in today. You killed it. Have an awesome rest of your weekend. We'll be back next week, normal schedule with our final week of the dense program. Have a good weekend guys. Thank you. See you later.